Well, it's been a little while since I've had a look at a Zowie Gear product, but today I have the Zowie Gear Swift. It is a genuine gaming surface, and I'm going to zoom in on that so you can see exactly how genuine it is. Uh, I don't know if you can actually read that. Let's get even closer. Zowie Gear Swift, genuine gaming surface. So if you are a genuine gamer, this is probably your surface. All right, why don't we go around to the back of the box where we will discover more about it. Um... It is made of a complex plastic compound, so as you may or may not have gathered already, this is a plastic mouse pad, okay? The next thing about it of note is the fact that it is textured, so it combines speed, precision, and control. It is a fast mouse pad, hence the name Swift. Okay, it has a rubber base so it doesn't move. You can refresh it with water, so you can clean it with water. And rounded edges for a higher level of comfort, so it's not going to like cut your wrists while you're moving your mouse around. And it is tested and approved for all types of mice. And I was actually, I, I did a Zowie Gear unboxing a little while back, and I was criticized for not knowing who this guy is. Uh, I said that he looked like some random guy, he's a dude, he had a backwards cap or something along those lines. And uh, this is apparently Abdisamad Spawn Mohammed, and he wants to use his gaming experience to develop products for all the different types of gamers. He has tested it with optical and laser mice, and finds it to be up to his meticulous standards. So I apologize for not knowing who that was before, now I know he's a professional gamer. Alright, so why don't I get this... Uh, seal broken and we'll get this thing out of the box because that's what this is. It is an unboxing. This is the box and this is it un. Goodbye. Alright, so then we have a piece of paper covering the back of the mouse pad. Alright, and ooh, this is actually a lot nicer looking in person than, uh, than it was through a box. So that's why unboxing is so important because you can actually see it better. You know what? I've actually got a mouse kicking around here somewhere. Where is it? Oh yeah, okay. I've actually got a, um, here's a Steel Series. Uh, what is this? This is a 5L and then I've got a Logitech G7. So you can see for size comparison, the Swift is a little bit taller than a 5L, but also not quite as wide. Okay, so you can see the 5L sticks out behind, but the Swift is a little bit taller. Um, and let's have a look at the at the rubber material on the bottom. So the 5L uses SteelSeries trademarked um, like random splashes of rubber on the back, which is quite effective. And the Swift uses, oh, this is, this is kind of clever too. They've got their, um, their logo kind of all over the place, and it's in little thin, thin bits of rubberizedness. So you see, once I put this down, you see, once I put this down, there is like no way it's going to move. Terribly important. Wow, it even like stuck to the table a little bit. And you can refresh with water, as they mentioned a couple times on the box. All right, so I'm going to do this, and that should give you some idea that it is slippery. My G7 feet are in fairly horrible condition, so, you know, okay, you know what, just for the, the heck of it, because I don't really know how to compare a mouse in an unboxing, or a mouse pad, I should say, there's the 5L. I can't tell if there's a difference, but I can tell you right now that based on just this, uh, this quick test, I don't know what the tracking would be like, but the 5L is a slightly slower mouse pad. And, uh, I mean, that makes sense, given that it is actually a, a plastic-coated cloth surface, whereas this is a pure plastic surface. It's quite rigid, okay? So it's not all that flexible, which is probably a good thing, because I know on my, on my desk at work, it drives me crazy. Uh, there's actually, like, uh, it's, it's got a plastic table. It's like just a work table that I sort of snagged at some point. I don't remember how it happened. And it's not quite even. So if I use anything that's not a very hard mouse pad, I actually use an SP at work, um, then it, as I move my mouse across, it goes and it's not, not very nice. Anyway, thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Zowie Swift Blue Gaming Mouse Pad endorsed by Spawn the Gamer. And I'm looking for my remote and this is not happening for me here. So I'll just pretend. Click.